What's going on everyone in the Jason Nation? My name is Jason and welcome back to our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock. Oh my goodness, it's been a little while, hasn't it? So, today we're starting off with something a little bit special. We're actually going to be... We are going to be evolving a certain... A certain haunter on our team. He's going to be finally getting his chance to evolve, yo. And the best part is... We're going to be trading him for none other than Daquan. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. I got two D... Two... Two 3DSs in the works. Just... Just... Make that easier for you to understand. <laughs> I'm done, man. But we're going to trade these back. But we're going to get a certain special little Gengar real fast. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I'll see you dudes. Just a second. And like that, with the power of our other 3DS, we now have ourselves a nice and powerful Gengar. It's awesome, baby. We got Gengar. We got Mr. Booberry himself. And we're going to be able to use a Gengar pretty soon, actually. I think we get our Mega Bracelet Keystone thing pretty soon. Not far from now. But anyway, in the last episode, we actually got here to uh, Laveridge Town. That's what it's called. And we got three encounters in the last one. That can get us uh, some eggs here. And then we've also got, if we go through here, we've also got another egg that we can. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to go the other way, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's not even in here. But there's a hidden item in here somewhere. <sighs> I'm stupid. I'm not even supposed to be going there. I'm not even supposed to be going where I just was. Uh, Alright, so we need to go up front here. There's an old lady that we need to. Is it this one? Oh, do you like hot springs, do you? Oh, that's surprising for someone as young as you. Oh, okay, well, I guess it's not the lady we need to talk to. Oh, it's this one. I have here an egg. Yeah, I hope to hatch it by covering it in the hot sand by the springs. But that doesn't seem to be enough. I heard it would be best if we kept together with Pokemon and carried about. Well, you are a trainer, yeah? That made no sense. What? You are a trainer, yes? And your Pokemon ra radiate vitality. So what you say? Will you take this egg to hatch? What is this English? Yes, I'll take it, but like, damn, dude, the translations. Oh, you have too many Pokemon. Talk to me again when you have room for this egg. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to need to get some room for that egg. Oh, I gotta make sure that... I think you guys should be able to see me, okay? I'm gonna say like this. Uh, we should be good. Uh, I need to get rid of some Pokemans in my party, though. That's for sure. Okay, so we have some Viper, Spoink, and Spinda down here. And these guys are our encounters. So, we're gonna move Luxray. We're just gonna... Okay, hold up. We need to make a separate... We need to make a separate box here real fast. Where are we? We're in this one? No. Which box are we in? This one. This one. This one. We're in this one right here. Okay. We're gonna go with this one right here. We're gonna name this one team members because I want to switch up some of our team as well. Because I got some questions to answer here. So team members. Oh, <laughs> team members. <laughs> oh, my God. I totally should just leave it like that. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Yeah, no need to be capitalized. There you go. Team members. Okay, so usable and team members are different boxes because usable is stuff I haven't used yet that I can use. And this is just going to be where team members go. I want to switch up some of the pokes we use because I don't want to always just be using the same crowd of mons. And also, Cynthia needs to go into the death box as well because, yeah, that's you, you need to be there, Cynthia. You need to be there. Uh, this is the death box. I'm pretty sure. No, did I not even? Oh, wait, no. I haven't even made a death box yet. Okay, well, I guess, hold on, hold on here, we'll sort this out, we'll sort this out. So, team members, so this will be for team members that we've leveled up. I might switch them up here and there and then, you know, train other guys up. I want to hatch some other eggs or use some of your guys' other po Pokemon as well. Not just use the same six throughout the entire Let's Play. I want to grind some of the other guys up too and get them up levels and stuff like that once we hatch a few more eggs here. And then, you'll see what I mean by the next couple episodes, I'll start using more people's eggs. Uh, this is going to be the, this is going to be the disregard box. The egg that's in the corner there, I'll hatch that later on because I couldn't hatch it. It was like a bad egg almost, if that makes sense. So it wouldn't let me hatch it S for some str bleh, strange reason, strange, stupid reason. But 
Oh well, we're just gonna have to deal with that for now until I can fix that Pika Hex. Uh, and then we gotta name this one the Death Box, because that is what this one is, the Death Box. There you go. So that's the name Death now. Cynthia's gonna be in there because that was our first death. And now we are good to go. So, team members, let's go ahead and just drop a couple. Who's our highest level? Actually, well, it doesn't really matter right now. We're just gonna drop three team members off the back. Actually, four team members off the bat here. Uh, yeah, off the back here because we need some room for some hatches here. Or some eggs here. So, first of all, let's go ahead and... I want to pick from box one, I think. I think that's a good thing to do. That's a good thing to do. So, we'll do, we'll do box one and we'll pick up... Uh, Pick up some Viper. Alright. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. And stop. We got Egg. Okay, guess I'm naming this one. Sweet. Alright, oh, we might want to get Tino as well. That would probably be very helpful if we got Tino. Tino, Tino, Tino. Tino, Tino, Tino. Alright, Tino, let's do this, buddy. Go big or go home. How long is this gonna take? How long is this gonna take? Do 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 do. Hopefully this egg doesn't take years to hatch. So, uh, a lot of you guys were probably wondering also, uh, what happened over the last little while, uh, why I haven't been uploading and stuff like that the last couple of days. If you missed the last couple of update videos, I really do recommend that you go and check them out and whatnot because I, I explained quite a lot. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the episode that if you guys are enjoying this series so far, make sure to drop a thumbs up to make up for my lack of uploads this week. And I, I've had a lot on my chest, so I just need time to like kind of get back in the spirit of things. So I apologize if I'm a little all over the place today. But to make up for my lack of uploads this week uh, and last week, sorry, not this week, um, I'm going to make sure I try my best to get an upload for this series every single day. And if we can get an upload for this series every single day of this week, meaning five days this week, then if we can crush the like goals on each one of those episodes, I will upload, this is, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, I will upload two more episodes over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, meaning you'll have an episode every single day this week. So if we can crush... 75 likes on today's episode then I will make sure that we can have seven well I'm not gonna make sure we can have seven days worth of uploads but I will make sure that there will be extra two bonus episodes if uh just no matter what you know as long as we can crush them on pretty much every single video this week if that makes sense I explained a little weird but I'm sure you guys know what I mean and also this egg would hatch that would be great that would be fantastic why is it not hatching though is my question Maybe close to hatching. Okay, well, I'll be back when this thing is done hatching. It's taking forever. Finally, it's hatching. It's about goddamn time. All right, let's see what this thing is. Hope I got a good nickname. Ready for this. Whatever this may be. What's it gonna be? What's it, what's it gonna... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what I want to name this thing. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, is it is it a guy? Of course it's not. Okay. Um. What? What can I name this thing? What can I name this thing? Like th this is. Uh, I was gonna name it Yogi or like Benjamin for like Benjamin Bear or something like that. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what I want to name this thing. I don't know. I, I don't have a good nickname. You know what? Let's go to this, let's go to the comment section of the last video. We're gonna name name it after someone in the comment section of the last episode. I have a lot of comments to catch up on, by the way. Like I like a lot. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate all the comments and the support. So I gotta catch up on a lot of that. Let's name this thing. We need a female. We need a female from the comment section. Uh, god damn. Okay, well, there's no one on the last one that I can see. Because no girls watch my videos. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm just playing. I know there's a couple of you out there. I know, I know. I see you. I see you. I know there are a couple. Uh, let's go ahead and name this thing. I don't 
know what to name this thing. Abigail. There we go. We're naming it Abigail. After Abigail Cat. Someone who said, hey, what about the dupes clause? This house from a week ago. But I see your comment. I see your comment, Abigail. Thank you. I'm going to name this thing Abigail. It's actually a, not a bad name for a Teddy Ursa. Soon to be an Ursa ring. Because I will actually use this thing depending on its moveset. All right. Let's see. What are you packing here, buddy? You got to be legal for me. And that's the biggest thing. You got to be legal. Doesn't have an item. It's got quick feet. It's got a, a naive nature. Something tells me that's legit. <laughs> Something tells me that is legit. Teddy or so. Alright, let's see. Let's see, Teddy. Are you as legit as you say? First of all, lick. Lick, that is legit. Fake tears is legit. Seismic. Seismic Toss is an egg move, and Cross Chop is an egg move. It is legit. Ah, uh, yeah. We doing it now. All right, cool. So this thing's legit. It's got quick feet as well, which is obviously legit. We are good to go. Sweet. We got a Teddy Ursa in the bag now. That can be very, very useful. I will not say no to an Ursa ring. All right, let's go ahead and hatch another egg. Do-do-do-do. All right, let's go to box box eight. Straight out Spinda, and we're gonna stop on this one. We got Razor Razor Reaper. Okay, Razor Reaper. Razor Reaper. Razor Reaper. Razor Reaper. Alrighty, let's see what Razor Reaper is. Oh, that was that was quick. Damn, dude. All right, Razor Reaper, what are you gonna be? Ooh, that is really good. That is really good. I like that. I will take that, dude. I will not say no to a Weavile. Raise. Oops. Razor. Reaper. Razor Reaper. All right, let's do it. We got it now. But the question is, is it legal? That is the only question. Alright. So, let's go to Cerebi. Let's see what moves you're packing. Sneasel. Alright, buddy. So, you're packing Foul Play. Which is... Ooh. Uh-oh. We have a bit of a problem. Uh oh. Whoever sent this in done diddly goofed a little bit. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so foul play ice punch and iron tail. Or sorry, not ice punch, icy wind. Foul play, icy wind, and iron tail. They're all move tutor attacks. Ice punch is an egg move but doesn't cut it icy wind is also a level of move unfortunately as much as i really 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 want to use this thing we can't because it's not legal and i that's why i made it really clear do not send in illegal mods i'm so sorry to whoever sent in razor reaper that's really unfortunate because i really really wanted to use that i wanted a weavile Ah. That's, that sucks, man. That really does. Okay, well, we gotta put that in the disregard box. That's that's unfortunate. I guess we gotta go pick another Pokemon now. Alright, let's go back to box 8. Let's go ahead and grab Spin again. We're gonna just stop on this one. And that went right here, I think. That's where it was. I hope that's where Spin just was. Because I don't know. Oh, God. I hope this is... Oh, dude. I don't know which one it was. Oh, no. I think this is the one it was. You know what? I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to do an entirely different box. I know that sounds like a really stupid thing to do, but I want to just do an entirely different box because, I don't know, I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to pick the wrong egg, you know what I mean? And I don't want to 
I don't want to piss anybody off. So I'm sorry if I just picked your egg by accident, but oh well. Sorry about that. All right, let's try that again. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Ad. We got rump a hole. Rump. What? What the? Okay, rump a hole. I'm gonna have to write that down because I'm probably gonna forget how to spell that. Rump. Rump. A hole. Hold on, I need to do something here. This should have been done a while ago. There you go. I was gonna. Sorry, I am really unorganized right now. Rump a hole. Okay, I don't know where that's from or what that's in relation to, but I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, maybe it's from an anime or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what that's in relation to. All right, let's go hash this thing. Please don't take five years to hash, please. Alrighty, it's hatching. What is Rumpole going to be? Rumpole. Oh my god, dude. That is powerful. That is actually really nice. I want that. Oops, I didn't mean to move my thing right there. Dude. Okay, I will take that. R-U-M-P... E H U L L Rumpa Hole. Alright, let's do it. Please be legal, Rumpa Hole. Don't don't fail me, buddy. Don't fail me, please. Okay. Rumpa hole. What you holding there, bud? Holding a pearl, okay. Got fire spin. Uh yeah, that that's legal. I'm fairly certain that's legal. Moxie's also legal, I'm fairly certain. So I don't really think I need to check legitimacy on that one. And I am yawning! Oh my gosh! Oh my lord. Alright, let's go hatch two more eggs now because we still have to get that one egg from that woman, which will count as an encounter technically. It's a, it's, it's a static encounter, you know, but it's alright. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, where the hell is. Oh, Teddy Earth is right there. Okay. Usable, usable. Spoink, let's grab from box three. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. And we got Lance. Oh shit, this can be this could be a number of things. That could be that could be a number of things. Uh maybe a dragon dragon knight. Sorry, a dragon a dr yeah, Dratini! God darn it. God darn it. When do I ever say that? Gosh darn it. God diggity darn it. I don't even know. Um, could be Dratini. Could be... Bagon. Could be... Could be a number of things. Could be a, a trap hinch. It could be any dragon type. I mean, that's what I at least think about when I hear the name Lance. It's dragon types, so maybe. Alright, what is it going to be? What's it gonna be? What's it? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it? What's it gonna be? I said, what's it gonna be? What's it? What's it gonna be? Yeah, we got a Dratini, dude. That is awesome. That is really awesome. It's gonna be hard to level up, but I can tell you that later on in the game that will be very, very useful. So, Lance is your name. And dragon taming is your game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Why does it still say that my other DS is online? What the hell? My other DS has been offline, dude. Okay, then. Uh, it's probably because I'm still on my PSS for some reason. Uh, Alright, let's go grab this egg from this woman now. We'll trade this egg. I'll probably have to put this, this egg that I... um. That I get from this woman into the disregard box simply because if I put it in a box with a bunch of other eggs, you can see why that might be kind of problematic. So I'm going to uh, need to disregard it once I find out which egg I'm going to pick. But it's going to count as an encounter because it's close enough. Actually, no, because it's not. Uh... I know it's a why not anyway, so I don't really need to hatch to see what it is. So let's just pick. I'm going to pick this egg. 
No, I want one with a nickname. You know what? No. Okay, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. Link. Which one was the... God damn it. Alrighty, we're hatching, boys. We're hatching. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it, what's it gonna be? Please be something good. Please be something good. I know. I know. I know. Exactly who sent this in. I'm fairly certain this was Mr. Joshua Mondero who sent this in. Because this, if I'm correct, is going to be equipped with the shiny stone. Or I'm sorry, there's a hair on my mic. I'm trying to get off. This is going to be equipped with a shiny stone or whatever it is that will evolve to a Gallade. Plus, it's male, so... This is this is Link the Gallade from the original Sacred Gold Egglock. It's not equipped with the stone, but however, I'm fairly certain it's meant to become a Gallade. So, that's pretty damn awesome, dude. And I'm pretty sure it's legit. I have my doubts with this, though. Which is really, really unfortunate. My only doubt with this Pokemon is the fact that it knows or Iron Tail. Dun, 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 dun. How did it get Durant from Drat? Dratini is what I'm looking for. Okay, Dratini, do you learn Iron Tail as an egg move? Yes, you do. Okay, good. Water Pulse, do you learn that? Yes, you do. Dragon Pulse, obviously, in extreme speed. Yes, okay, well, we're good. On that one, uh, what about you, Rots? Fairly certain that you learn everything that you have, but you it's better be safe than sorry, that's for sure. Alright, so we got Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak it is an egg move. Synchronoise, that's an egg move. Encore, that's an egg move. And Confuse Ray, finally, is also an egg move. Okay, we're good. Awesome. Beautiful. We don't need to worry about it. That was really bad singing. Alright, so, now that we got all these mons... We can go put these in the pissy, the pissy, the pissy, the pissy. I'm gonna make sure my. For some reason, I feel like my face cam is not gonna be lined up properly. No, it is. It's just. I don't even know. I'm just worried about it because the overlay, the way it looks. It might, like, cut off part of my face. I don't know if I'm too close to the camera, but either way. So. Now we have a nice little armory of mons to choose from for our party. We could put Gengar back in your Mr. Booberry. And we need our other team members here. So, Tino. Tino's going to be considered a team member just so he can stay in this box and not be scattered in the PC randomly. But he's not actually going to be used. Uh, and then we got the rest of our team right here. The gang's all here. The gang's all here. Alright. So, I'll do some grinding in the next episode. Level up a couple team members and just get some extra guys under our belt. Just to get a little bit more type coverage in some areas that we lack type coverage in. Um, we've already been going at this episode for 30 minutes. Has this really just been an egg hatching episode? No, I think with time cut out, it probably hasn't. I think we're going to go ahead and tackle the gym as well in this episode. And this will be the episode for today. And then I'm going to probably go ahead and record another episode straight after this one while I'm still in the mood to record it. Maybe even another one if I'm still feeling it. And that way I can get some done for today in case I don't feel like doing it again later tonight. You know what I mean? Just makes everything a whole lot easier. But I am ready to challenge gym leader Flannery. I just got to find her first. <laughs> Now, I'm going to try and do this gym puzzle without running into any trainers. Because I'd love to get all the XP for these trainers. As much as I'd love to. I think it's best that I just, just try and avoid as many of them as I can. Just simply put. And the only reason why is because I don't have time to grind right now um, at all. And I... Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I'm a dingus. I don't have time to grind right now uh, on Pokemon, so I just... I just gotta do with what I got, I guess. But we'll have a grinding montage here in a couple episodes for sure, because we're gonna need to for sure. I said for sure way too much right there. That was three times. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. don't want to go on that one. I don't know why there's bubbles there, but I feel like a trainer might jump out if I go near those bubbles. So I'm going to try and avoid those. I feel like it's going to make me, yeah, go back to this one right back here. I'm just, like I said, trying to avoid as many trainers as I possibly can. That's the goal here. Go on this one. 
Dun 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 Alrighty, fall down here. That's an unavoidable chainer battle. That, yep, that's unavoidable, but I think that means we're on the right path. That probably does. Probably does. Okay. Dun 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 Kindler Andy. He's got a numble. Oh my goodness. He's got a numble. Numble's gonna get destroyed. Oh, I got chomps up front. Okay, good, 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 good. That's just that's just what I needed, yo. That's good because they're gonna have a lot of numbles, torkels, slugmas, a lot of dual typings that are really weak to water in this gym. So that'll make this pretty much a breeze for chomps. I don't think any of them are sturdy either. McCargo might, but I don't know about anything else. I really gotta take that. Actually, well, eh, nah. He start chomps has quite a bit of HP now, so I don't really need to take the life orb off of him anymore. But I might have to at some point if it gets to the point where he's starting to do too much damage to himself or something like that. I don't really know. Because I know Life Orb can only do 1 16th of your health, I'm pretty sure. Damn, dude, I actually did that! Only fight fighting one trainer, not even bad. Look at that, your, boys know, your boy knows what he's doing, man. He knows what he's doing. God damn, that was crazy. Oh, that's another thing I was going to talk about. A lot of you guys asked me if my dad ended up winning his award uh, that I talked about in the update video the other day. I was, unfortunately, no, his show, Murdoch Mysteries, did not, uh, sadly get the award. It got outbeat by another show, uh, called Shit's Creek. I'm not gonna voice my opinions on it, but it's unfortunate. But, you know what? It's all, it's all competition. It's all, all fair is loving war, you know, all that good stuff. It's, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Regardless, we had a fun time. It was a good time. The DGC had a really good time. Met a lot of cool people. Really awesome time. I would love to do it again, honestly. But anyway, we got Flannery here. She's got all her beautiful red hair. She's like, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, come on into my gym, man. Oh, that sounded so wrong. Oh, God. Why did I phrase it like that? I meant, like, come into my gym, not come on my gym. No, don't do that. Just don't. Just don't do that. Whoa! Okay. Welcome! I don't want to scream that loud because my mic would have, like, blown your guys' ears up. No, wait. I mean, puny trainer, you've done well to make it this far. Let's see, I'm, uh, honored to be serving as the gym leader of, uh, uh, no, I mean, I'm Flannery, and I'm in charge here, uh, <sighs> you better underestimate me, just cause I've been only a leader for a short time, but the skills I've inherited from my grandfather, I'm gonna dis, de yeah, I was supposed to say disseminate, I don't even think it's a word, demonstrate the hot moves we've owned in this land, or honed in this land, Hiya! yeah but a hi ya, you rating that? No, my god. Alright, so let's go. We got Flannery. She on fire. She on fire, baby. Fire power. She got a slugma up front. Alright. Alright, I see how we're going to do this. Oh, I love this battle background. This is beautiful. This is so sick. Oh my god. Yo, if I could fight every Wi Fi battle like this, my life would be complete. This is beautiful. Alright. So Slugma, he's gonna face the hands of Chomps here right now. Should I just set up the D dance and just sweep her whole team? I don't even think it's necessary, honestly. When I'm quad effective against everything, I don't really think it's necessary because I think she has a Slugma, which is um, Fire Rock. She has a Numble, which is Ground Rock. So what? Sorry, Ground Fire, and she has a Torkoal, I believe, which is I think just pure Fire or Fire Rock. I can't remember, but it's one of the two, so it doesn't matter. But he'll probably survive a hit from Chomps, to be honest, unless I have a D-Dance up. In comes the Numble, though. Also, once I get Pika Hex working again, I gotta change Egg's name to the proper name. For the person who sent in that Amoris, or Amora, or whatever you, whatever the thing is called. The, the thing that's name is Egg. Um, can you please tell me what the proper name for it is supposed to be? Just say, like, yo, I'm the one that sent it in. I, the proper name for it should be this. So I know the next time I go, I can go fix it and whatnot. Uh, that way I can get it to what it should have been. And I, cause I can't remember. I can always look back on the video, but if you could just leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Uh, alrighty. So Numble is dead, and that that life orb starts to take a quick toll on my HP. And then she's finally got a Torkoal, which, like I said, I believe is just. Fire type, but we'll see. I'm curious. I think I think one Aqua Jet will be yeah, it'll be able to live that. So I thought. It's cursing up. That's not good. That's not good at all. But I'll speed it anyways. It doesn't really matter. I kind of screwed itself over right there. 
Should have just attacked me. Oh, damn, it actually lives another one? Uh-oh. Oh, thank God I didn't use Flare Blitz. That would have been really bad. She's probably gonna potion up, if I took my best guess. And then probably Flare Blitz or something the next turn. In which case, I'm at good enough amount of HP. I think I'm gonna go ahead and D-Dance. <clears throat> Voice crack, my god. Yeah, she hyper potions. Okay, cool. Now I can now I can D-Dance. I think with one D-Dance, I should be able to take this thing out with one Aqua Jet. Hopefully, anyway. The moment of truth, will I be able to? Oh, wait, he has the sunny day up! Oh, God. I just realized that. Sunny day's up. I just completely forgot about that. Uh-oh, now his defense is raising. This is really not good. Why didn't his defense raise the first time? Why the hell didn't his defense raise the first time? Do I have flash fire on this thing? Yes, I do. Okay. This is the best switch right here. This is the best switch, and if, I'm pretty sure I have Confuse right on this thing, I can Confuse it. I wasn't paying attention because I, I saw, I know Curse is supposed to raise your defense, but the first time he did it, it didn't raise it for some reason. Like, maybe it did and I missed it, but. Man, this is going to be one bulky-ass turtle. I do have Confuse right though, so. Now, hopefully, it can hit itself. That would be really nice, because if his attack being so high, it'll do more damage than I probably will to it, so. Now, let's just go ahead and Nightshade it, considering that it's stabbed, it's confused, and it's a special attack, so it'll do more damage. And it's confused, hopefully it'll hit itself, that'd be really nice. Oh no, he's just gonna curse again. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> nothing is scarier than a really bulky tortoise. Nothing. Nothing at all. Alright. One more nice shade should be able to finish this thing off. She didn't heal up, so this thing should be dead now. And there it is! We did it! We did it! We got ourselves our fourth gym badge. We got 990 XP. Not bad. Level 30. We're getting closer and closer to leveling up and evolving with Scorch. And we got Leader Flannery defeated. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. B okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty, Flannery. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I guess I was trying too hard to be someone I'm not. When I don't act like myself, no wonder Pokemon that battle at my side get confused. <laughs> Holy shit, that was ridiculous, really rude. I'm so sorry. Thank you for teaching me that. You deserve this. That's what happens when I drink soda. I don't drink soda for that reason. But we got our fourth gym badge. What's this called? The flare badge? Heat badge. It's the heat and mo badge. If you have the heat badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use the HM move strength outside of battle. Don't, er, bleh. This is my token. God, I can't talk. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. We got overheat. That is a really bad move. It's good power wise, but it can really mess you over. Screw you over, whatever. Ugh. Overheat is a fire type move that inflicts serious damage, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of a Pokemon using it. Like I was just saying, it might not be suitable for longer battles, which is why it's good for power, but it screws you over in the long run. So, no, I don't... I'm not a big fan of it. Now, isn't there an easier way of getting out of this gym? I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, yeah, I can just, I can just hop down. Sweet! Beautiful. Do do do, 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 do. And here comes May. What she gotta say with that bootay? Oh my god. Jason, wow, it's a relief to see you in one piece. Last time I saw you uh, was right after battling those Team What's It people. So I was a bit worried, thinking about what might have happened to you. And after that, Jason, what? You battled them again after that? You, you beat them? You really are something else, Jason. I I mean, you and your team. I'm pretty impressed by you all, and that's pretty stone er and that's pretty stone bleh, And that pretty stone that's sparkling there. Is that the meteorite you got back from them? Yes it is. Oh that's right. Here here, I've been meaning to giving you these. And we got the go-go goggles, which means or the go goggles, whatever, which means we can go in the desert now, which is awesome. 
If you put those gold goggles on, you'll be able to, you'll be all set heading into the desert on Route 111. Uh, which is actually where we can get another couple encounters too, which is really nice. You want to go back to Petalburg? Oh yeah, she teleports us. We can always come back to the desert when we come back over here to head towards the 6th gym. So yeah, I might as well. I think she just automatically teleports us. Dude, it's sweet. Let's do it, dude. That's awesome. Well, we made it. The Petalburg City Gym. Good luck with the taking on the gym leader, Jason. I'm cheering for you. Later. Yeah, the gym leader just happens to be my dad. With that being said, I think that is going to be good for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you are enjoying the series and all that good stuff. And there will be a link to the playlist in the description where you can check out all the other previous episodes of the series if you missed it so far. And that way it will allow you to catch up on the series and whatnot and you can be ca all caught up to the point when we are ready to go again for tomorrow. So, like I said, if you guys did enjoy the episode, drop a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If we can smash like goals across every single episode this week, I will make sure that there's an extra two bonus episode this weekend, and hopefully one of them will be able to be an hour-long episode as well. With that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you, dude, so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.